That's it. I'm nervous. This is the moment. Yeah? Let's do it. If it gets graded a nine, is that like, uh, the last few months I've been doing tons and tons of storage locker exploring. I've been buying up lockers. I feel like storage lockers in general have tons of Pokemon cards inside of them because the kids had them, they grew up, their parents held onto those cards. Well now, Pokemon cards are worth a crazy amount of money. That could be up to $200,000 if it's in pristine condition. And if it's not even in pristine condition, that could be 30, 40, $50,000. And people are now rediscovering it and going, Where's my Pokemon cards? And it turns out a lot of times they're in their parents' storage locker that they ended up letting lapse. And then somebody like me, hopefully, will end up buying them. Well, in today's video, we are guaranteed to have Pokemon cards. This is how. This is my friend Andy, and uh, you have Pokemon cards in a storage locker, right? This is true. I how do. long have they been in the storage locker? Uh, they've been in the storage locker now probably 10, 15 years. Why haven't you gotten them out? Well, I found them last year, and I was like, oh, I'll bring these to my little boys, but I was like, no, not yet, they're too, still too little, so I, I put them back. The funny thing is, until yesterday, Andy had no idea that these cards could be worth thousands of dollars. He just thought they were fun things you could play with. This wasn't like you just had Pokemon cards and you tried to play with them. You actually got them to save them. You put them in the sleeves, right? Yeah, we have like the three by three sleeves, the nine sleeves, you put them in, and and you have the little extra sleeves you put them in inside of those, so. Guaranteed there's holographic cards. Do you have a Charizard? I do have a Charizard. Uh, I, I hope I, no I do, I do, I do I have, a, I have one, yes. You're pretty confident, like how confident are you that it's like, a Charizard? I'm 99.99% positive it's a Charizard. There is a Charizard inside of this pack. All right, 10 hour drive. Were you like a huge Pokemon fan when you were a kid? No, I really wasn't a huge Pokemon fan, but my little brother was. And so uh, my stepmom at the time, she'd go around and buy us a bunch of packs and we'd cut them open. And, and then slowly over time, she wanted to start collecting them for us. So she had like three, two full sets or attempting to get two full sets. Which one is it? 92. That's it? That's it. Number 92. This is the one, just right there. That's it. There's no like, there's no like gate or security or anything. It's just hundreds of thousands of dollars of Pokemon <laughs> cards sitting in this little old storage facility. That's what you're telling me. Yes. Let's <laughs> let's go. <okay? laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you about right. this moment? An eleven, <laughs> because the anticipation from driving up here has been just. Killing you, huh? Oh, good. It's still full of junk. Okay, let's go inside of here. Okay, there are a lot of bins. There's a lot of tubs, a lot of bins over here. It smells like a storage locker. Why do all storage lockers smell the same? That's the storage locker smell. This is rolling. Okay, grab that. Actually, roll both of them. We're gonna find Pokemon. Catch that Charizard. Okay, we're rolling. So this is the moment. Oh no, this is not the moment. GoPro on, search camera on. Good. This is the moment that we've come here for. We have to drive five hours home and it's either gonna be a really sad five hours or a really happy five hours, so. Happy, um, happy. I, yeah, I think it's gonna be, I, I feel optimistic about this. Even though I just met Andy this last week and now I'm on a road trip all across the state of Utah with him to find his Pokemons. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna come in and watch. This isn't my storage locker, but I wanna come, come and check it out. See what's up. I'll try not to break anything. We're gonna find lots of good stuff in here. Good luck. What if we found it in like the first box? So you think they're in one of these bins, these big plastic tubs up here, is what yep. I'm saying? Absolutely. A lot of times they're not going to be like out in the front, like when you see the pictures of one that are for, ones that are for sale online, like the different storage lockers. We got a box of old cell phones in here. Like this, to most people, is probably worth more than what the Pokemon cards are. So they're usually put away with like somebody's school assignments or like things when they were growing up. Nostalgic, nostalgic -y things. I'm gonna buy a storage locker sometime in the next few months that legitimately has Pokemon cards inside of it. I am determined. Strategically. Two hands on this way, we've got room too. This one's heavy. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh. 
it's in this one, I'll be really happy. Oh, hey, that sounded good. Hey, remember that green and purple thing I was telling you about? That's it? There might be something in there. There are some type of cards in there. If you just look close, there's some cards. I'm not gonna open it yet. I wanna open it outside. That's definitely not a full set. That's not like 100 cards. You have Nintendo DS. Oh, you have the box. You can sell the Nintendo DS. Look, what about this? Oh, that's it. How did you find it? It's the one you gave me. Ah! Pokemon Catch Em All. And this is a thick book. Look at all those cards. It's real. I, I told you. It I is told real. You <laughs> Here we go. Check it out. Pokemon cards from a storage locker. Oh, look at the backs of those. Those are pretty good. That's in good, some good shape right there. Hey, what did I tell you about the black binder with a bunch of stickers on it? Yeah, that is, you're right. There we go. There's the guy right there. I know. That's the one. Are you ready for this? I'm nervous. I'm holding these things, and I have no right to be holding these. These are not my Pokemon cards. There are tons of cards inside of here. First things first, let's go with this future city one. Why don't you do it? You do the honors. It's your cards. Basketball cards. Kevin Garnett? Look at that. Upper deck, Kevin Garnett, okay. Basketball cards could be worth something too. Is this my new Ford Raptor right here? Damn, is this my Raptor? This is the moment. Am I holding my Ford Raptor? <sighs> Touch the Charizard for good luck. There we go. I'm nervous. This is the moment. Yeah? Let's do it. Charizard, oh, oh. it's not a first edition, but that's still Charizard. It's a Charizard. It's still a Charizard. And a Blastoise. It is not first edition, oh, all that. and it does have a hey, shadow. Look, 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 look. Okay, you got look. a first edition Machamp. Hey. Hey, that's good. Pikachu, the yellow cheeks Pikachu. Is that a good one? That's good, that's That's really good. Dude, some of these have two in them. Yeah, I guess you double up. <gasps> Jigglypuff. Oh, why do you have the first edition Jigglypuff hiding behind there? Dan, we could like it's have some more potential. It's not a holographic, potential. all of these. A first edition under there. We gotta go through all of them. Let's see. Pull out the Charizard. Be careful, careful. You got. You don't want to ruin it at all. You got every little bit of it hurts it. There's only one card in here. It's only one. Okay, then don't don't pull it out then maybe. There's only one card. Is there a Pikachu behind it? Check behind it. There's another one. Yes. It's not holographic. That's good. I mean, they don't have holographic Pikachu's. People love that card. Really? I think that's like 500 bucks. No way. Maybe a thousand. Yeah. Dude, these cards are. This is an awesome collection you've got. This is really good. And, uh, oh, hey. Oh, another Charizard. one. Another Charizard. Oh, 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 what is this? First edition, more first Dark edition. Dark Charizard. First edition. First edition Dark Charizard. What is that? What is that? A whole bunch of them. Are they worth anything? What? That's, I mean, what is that? <laughs> Whatever these are. Is the, I mean, another one, maybe they're, graphic. maybe they're from the Jungle series or something? Another Dark Charizard. Uh, FaceTime me Josh Shorten, he is our Pokemon expert. Hey, Josh. What's up? Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, yeah, what's up? We need your help. Check this out. <laughs> we have some cards here that we need your help with. One of them is base set yeah, Pikachu, okay. but then pull that one out. Pull the, then we then we look behind it, and there's this one that says Ooh, first edition on it. hiding there, yeah. So if those are in good shape, they've been going for like $800. 800 bucks! Okay! <laughs> This I don't know. Okay, right here. This is. Ooh, hey, hey, big win. Big win. Okay. <laughs> I just looked yesterday, so just, you guys know anything about the grading system? Nope. Wait, yeah. A PSA nine, so not perfect, but still in good shape. Yeah. Uh, if it gets graded a nine, is that like uh, two thousand dollars? What? Two thousand dollars? So you're telling me there's potential to be a couple thousand? Well. Without even looking, I would say no for you three grand for that binder right now if you want it. Three grand. Whoa. That's amazing. Is that a maybe? That's, oh, he's he's actually making you an offer right now. No, we gotta find out more. <laughs> oh, sorry. You found Pokemon cards in 2020. We're gonna send some of the ones in to the PSA. I don't know how long it takes. It might take a few months, but stay tuned. I am going to be buying some more storage lockers and I'm gonna be looking for Pokemon cards and I have a really good feeling about it. I'm going to get my own Pokemon cards from a storage locker somewhere. And just, if you feel bad for the people that lose a storage locker, I know, I feel bad for them too. At the same time, 
there's 20,000 a week that go up in America and somebody's buying them. So either somebody buys them and just goes and sells them or we could buy them, show the world and show you guys and then go sell them. Hey, this is a win. This was a great day. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> man. I just want to go figure these out. Like, I'm hoping we have some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's speechless. He's speechless. <laughs> So uh, we, he really wants to capture the moment. So Andy's Whoa. got okay. He's putting a GoPro on his this hat. I don't think the hat's a good idea. Nothing I think stay away hat. from the hat idea. All That's right, a bit right. much. This one will work right here. But this is like first person. Get it. Okay. Well. All right. Fine. Yeah. Just. <laughs> ah!